Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I have another engineering fail video and uh, I'm gonna be showing you uh, a cluster of a screw up when it comes down to a uh, battery terminal. And uh, we're gonna get into this today and uh, show you this really great design that Ford Motor Company decided to do. But uh, before we go ahead and do that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Definitely smash the like button because it helps the channel out. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started on today's video. So if you drive a Ford, Lincoln, Mercury, whatever it is, you know, basically a newer variant, uh, like a EcoBoost or anything of that nature, uh, you may want to look at your battery and you may come across something like this. Now, Ford used this in a lot of different cars for a lot of varying years from like 2010 and up, I believe, something like that. And uh, this is your positive terminal. Now, a lot of people may say, Mike, that's just the cover for the positive terminal. Well, let me... Uh, let me show you. No, it's not. This is your positive terminal. Now, the reason why I dislike designs like this is it takes something very quick, simple, and easy, a job that should take you about five or six minutes to, you know, do on a car and turns it into a whole cluster. And it's all basically a, a cash grab. It's a for profit. Now, this is the whole terminal assembly. This is how Ford sells it. And this to me is absolute crap because I remember the days where if this terminal in here went bad, like this one did, you can see it kind of rotted away. Uh, the acid ate away at it and the heat got it. Um, you should be able to just unbolt this positive terminal and replace it with another end. Well, not the case. Now you buy the whole block. Now, the thing with this is not only is it a positive terminal, it's also a placement. Uh, it has like a way to pretty much get this on top of the battery and keep it locked in in a certain way. Uh, but it also has connections. As you can see here, it has a plug connector here, another plug connector there, and a wire that goes here, a uh, positive wire from the alternator to charge up. And then we also have a uh, built-in fuse. Uh, there's a lot going on with this. It's not as easy as just a battery terminal anymore. Now, for as long as I've been wrenching, usually most cars will have some sort of circuit protection uh, on the feed wire from the alternator coming into the battery. There's usually like a fusible link. That's a wire that will burn up or some such. Uh, type of fuse or something but lately manufacturers have been doing this but the thing with this is if you're going to design something like this now i'm not against the whole design of this i actually do find it very convenient um, these terminals are a lot easier to work with than the old ones that have the side posts uh, where the nut is that you got to loosen i like having a ton millimeter up top just in and out you don't got to sit there uh, you know let's say have the wrong wrench because it's too long or too short of a socket or something like that so i really like this design but I really hate it when they make you buy the whole thing just for a terminal. When they made this, they could have easily created a terminal that should be able to come off here or unbolt and then you should be able to put on a new one, uh, making it less expensive and easier to maintain instead of buying this whole thing. Because if you look at the whole structure of this, I mean, nothing is really wrong with this. Um, if I could get a new terminal to put on there, this is absolutely fine. It still works. It's plastic and metal. Uh, there's no need to buy the whole thing. But, you know, in this scenario, they, they make you buy it. And this is... Uh, what I like to call uh, very bad engineering at the least because they're making you buy more than what you need. Uh, if your battery terminal ate away, just like this one did, you should be able to go to the local parts store or dealer and just get a terminal, have it be bolted up with two 10 millimeter bolts or a 10 millimeter bolt, and you should be able to uh, you know, fix your terminal. Instead of buying a piece for around 80 to 100 bucks, uh, that requires a little bit more. Now, this isn't that difficult to replace, but it does require more time, more work, more effort. And sometimes you may not have these available. And what do you do then? You're going to wait on them. So this is uh, another bad engineering design. Uh, it's not just Ford, but this is just what landed on my plate today. And I thought I'd share it with everyone because, uh, you know, stuff like this needs to stop. Uh, everyone's talking about waste and, you know, uh, making too much pollution and stuff like that. Well, why are we designing things like this? Shouldn't this be more serviceable? You know, just a little food for thought. But either way, guys, uh, hopefully everyone enjoyed this video. Like always, comment, like, and subscribe because it definitely helps the channel grow. I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and I'll catch you on the next video.